Yo, 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 what up guys? So today I got a pretty epic video for you guys. I did hours and hours of research, but I came up with nine secret Nectar AI tips and tricks that will not only just knock your socks off, but it will also help you save a ton of money, create images, create fantasies, and just make your overall AI roleplay experience 10 times more awesome. So yeah, I won't hold you up any longer. Let's get right to it and start with the first tip. So the first Nectar AI tip I have for you, it's either gonna be a mirror shattering moment that you think like oh i didn't know that or it's gonna be like yeah no shit I, I didn't know it so i'm just gonna tell you if you go over to the nectar ai fantasies by default it's on the official fantasies so often what i thought was like oh they only have like 15 of those but if you click on official you can go to community and you have a library of hundreds and hundreds of fantasies to pick from so yeah if you don't know it then it's definitely great to know this stuff so the second nectar ai tip i have for you is especially handy for those of you that are really into creating fantasies, creating characters and generating images. There is actually a fantasy and it's called Nectar Creative Helper. Shout out to nectarchan 93 v who created this chatbot. And this chatbot is actually meant to help you navigate Nectar AI's future. So what you can do, you can simply chat with this character. You can ask her, hit him, I don't know. You can ask it any question you would like about generating stuff. So I said, for example, how do I generate an image of a dragon? And then the AI will tell me like, hey, use these prompts and include them, blah, blah, blah. And it also works for creating characters and other stuff. So yeah, definitely helpful. Be sure to check it out. It's the second link in the description of this YouTube video. So the next Nectar AI tip I have for you guys is that you should really check out the site. It's called vndb.org. And this is basically a giant hub for character creators, fantasy creators, and image generation fans. So what you can do, you can click on something like traits here on the left, and then you'll see like different trade trees we got body hair facial hair eye color let's just try eye color and then we can zoom in a little bit more let's try cyan now it gives you an explanation like it's a light blue color with a hint of green you can use like aliases like aquamarine turquoise i don't even know how to pronounce this stuff but anyways this is just great for inspiration if you want to create characters and create images so be sure to check it out it's completely free it will be the third link in the description of this youtube video so as you might know nectar ai is one of the few AI girlfriend apps that allow you to create videos of your AI girlfriend. I'm actually doing research on that. So if you know any other AI girlfriend app that has a video generator, then drop a comment and I'll check it out and I'll purchase it and I'll review it. This one from Nectar AI, it's still in the alpha phase. And what I hear from other people is that there's not really a golden way on how to create videos. But what really seems to work is that you make good use of the ICKS field. So what you dislike and really try to hit the create button over and over again and every time you see something you don't want you just keep adding it here and that seems to be getting a very good result for other users so be sure to check that out so the next nectar ai tip and trick i have for you guys is great for if you want to create images with multiple characters in it first of all a small disclaimer i'm very bad at this so i'm just gonna explain you the most easiest beginner friendly way that's really effective first of all you will want to write your prompts in full english sentences and second of all you want to name each and every character so here's a prompt i created 4.20 seconds ago it says two girls jessica wears a sundress has blonde hair and blue eyes sophie wears a sundress and has orange hair and blue eyes don't blame me for my grammar so the image looks good it doesn't really look perfect because i said jessica would have blonde hair and the other would have orange hair and now they both have orange hair so this is not a right off the bat perfect prompt but it's just great as to use as a base and just start building from here. So here's another cool Nectar AI trick that can greatly enhance your image generation skills. So if you just take a look at my prompt, it says gym clothes, blue eyes, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna hit generate. So here's the image I generated. She has gym clothes and blue eyes, but they don't really pop. So what you can do instead is that you can use a number behind the word blue eyes, and this will greatly make the eyes bluer. So I will put a bracket before and behind the prompt. I would use this sign. I don't know how to say it in English. And then I would put in something like 1.2 
hit generate again and look at that this looks 10 times better man for my personal experience i wouldn't recommend going beyond 1.5 because then it's just gonna look like a smurf so yeah feel free to try with it and let me know how it goes so here's a nectar ai tip and trick for all the non-native english speakers among us including me if you want to use nectar ai in another language then that's definitely possible the only thing you need to do is use an ooc command which stands for out of character in in plain english it's basically you telling the ai like hey this is a command use it it has nothing to do with the role play so what you will do you will use a bracket and then you will say console and then this sign again and then you will type it in in your native language blah 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 and then you would close it like this so i got a command here it is in spanish and i'm not gonna pronounce this because then i will probably be hunted down by an angry mob of spanish people with pitchforks and torches i started in english and as you can see i used this command and now she replies to me in spanish i recently did a video about girlfriend gpt tips and tricks and one of those tips was adding the word detail to your prompt the word detailed i just had to include this tip again guys the word detail to your prompt it can really up your image and it can just greatly enhance it so try it out for nectar ai it definitely benefited my images so that's it for today guys if this video was any helpful then please hit the like button it helped me make more videos like this about ai girlfriends for quote science purposes quote check out my article i got a full guide on all the tips i put one more tip in there as a snack yeah, if you have any tips that you would like me to add, then please share them with me. You can contact me at hermanjcarter at gmail.com or just leave a comment or anything and I'll reply to you. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.